evening, campers, it is I, Kira. We are going to review Soul Mountain by Gao Xing Zhang, which was sent to me by the lovely Doom Antidote, which if you haven't checked him out, please do. And there's a little bit of a story to, to why Ben sent me this. I was watching one of his wrap-ups where he spoke about this book, and he in particular said... And this one, it kind of just piqued my interest, as they say. If I'm glad I've read it, it's only because I never have to read it again. And oh my flippin' heck, I should have DNF'd this, looking at all the flaws and um, all the bad things that happen in the male psyche, but it's whether or not you can put up with that for 500 odd pages. I just absolutely love a negative review of a book that I've never even heard of, of an author I've never even heard of. So. As soon as he said that, I, I messaged him directly on Instagram and I said, Hey, like I know you reviewed this book. Can I can I buy it off you? Because I thought he clearly isn't going to keep it. In the end, I didn't buy this, but we did agree that we would swap books. So I've sent him some books that I think he would enjoy. To do with this book's transit to me, I started looking up Gaoshin Zan and I found out that he currently is living in... Paris and he translates works of Beckett, Ionesco, Theatre of the Absurd works into Chinese and that's really how he got his name outside of China and although Xing Zhang is a playwright at heart he wrote Soul Mountain, a place where he longed to go. Seoul Mountain, Lingshan, is where Gao Shenzhang wanted to go. That's where he wanted to find. He went on a pilgrimage in order to find Seoul Mountain. Why? Because he was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer, the same illness that killed his father. And as Shenzhang has to sit there and understand that his days will be numbered. He meditates in cemeteries, he he reads poetry, he's really trying to understand the oblivion that he's he's waiting that he's waiting for. That he's waited for the stillness, the darkness, the end. And he's preparing himself. And he goes back to the hospital. And the doctors tell him that it was a wrong diagnostics. That he was actually alive and well. And Xing Zhan now has a, a a a new lease of life on him. What one that one that was always there. He was he was never going to die, but he had to come to terms with, with the, the count down that awaits him. Soul Mountain can be seen as Shinzan's swan song, his understanding of coming to death, and it was written over the period where he went on this pilgrimage in order to understand a life, to understand what it is to be living, what it is to die, what it is to be. Knowing that the author of this book likes the theatre of the absurd, it, 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 this isn't a simple, this isn't a simple book. And if you're going to invest yourself in Soul Mountain, you have to be, you have to understand something. This isn't a novel, it's not a memoir, it's not philosophical, it's not meditative. It's, it's something in the realm of those things. This book doesn't neatly characterise itself at all. A, a way we really see this is the use of pronouns. I, you, he, and she. All of these pronouns are the author. They are all Shinzan's experiences and how he's able to encapsulate, how he's able to manoeuvre, how he's able to have hindsight, how he's able to use the future in order to see where he is on his journey to this destination. And it's it's not easy, but I, I think I've kind of grasped where we are. I pronoun is 
him in the present. You is more of a reflective tone. When he speaks to you and you respond back, there's a conversation trying to figure out a situation, a dilemma. He is used in an objective sense. He's able to really separate from his own and place he in situations and observe to it's quite voyeuristic in some cases but she is the real interesting one because she is the companion she is always with i she's always with you she's always with he she floats between she's a specter amongst the spectrum she is subjugated to the violence all of the bad situations are placed upon she she she's really there for the the sadist the anger the 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 pent energy of this false diagnosis is all placed upon she and what she is subjugated to is is it's relentless it's all the time it's it, it's difficult to read but the book itself as a whole is is, is difficult and, and the, the closer you get to the end the more meta that this book becomes Xinjiang is really trying to grapple with this this sense of, of being this sense of here this this the, the finite time that we have in a finite window that he has to express himself there's a lot of like plowing through this book to try to understand what is really going on but it's really interesting in how a, a native chinese man views his own country there, there's nothing really positive about the cultural revolution let's be honest does anyone have anything positive to say about mao's cultural revolution in china but the impact on the country the impact on its people how the landscape itself impacts Xinjiang's views his beliefs his understandings his wants his desires his his presence because Xinjiang is is so au fait with the absurdists th there are some elements that you just have to accept at times and, and really isn't that what life is that you just have to accept some things that that the times things don't make sense or something doesn't really have a natural explanation to how people treat each other or how we we speak to one another how we interact who we who we bump into how we how we meet someone five years down the road how we speak to people who we never would have thought we would have spoken to how friendships can grow how relationships seem so strong but can break away at a moment's time how sometimes everything is dark yet something can grow in the background how sometimes there's just no reasoning as to why maybe there's something in all of this but maybe there's nothing and Sing San's Lin Shan is that Soul Mountain tries to grapple with that, but try to grapple something that refuses to be held down. That is this book. Did I enjoy this book? I felt every single turn of the page. It's a very dense book. But as you dig into the densest, you don't really obtain any answers. But to give it credit, you're trying to gain an answer from something that doesn't really have an answer. But because of this entanglement of novel, of memoir, of philosophical, of meditations, of life, it, it's, it's just confusing at times and this, this this interplay of pronouns is frustrating for a 500 page novel split into 80 chapters a lot of this is chaff it could be taken away i think this book could be half the size 
and have the exact same impact. For me, this is a 5 out of 10, and thank you, Ben, for sending me this book. What I really want to know is, are there any fantastic Chinese authors that you could recommend to me? Because I'm, I'm keen to read more about the country, because I know absolutely little, like so little, of this powerhouse of a country, and I really, really want to learn more. I know I said it like less than a minute ago, but thank you again, Ben. Please do check him out. You won't regret it. He's got personality that just makes you grin from year to year, and you're just going to absolutely adore the man. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!